Martin, you said you think Catherine is gone for good, and you have to move on with your life. I have no choice, Sam. If Alistair helped her disappear, she's never coming back. Look, what I'm asking is, do you think you might want to move on with Pilar? I don't think I have a choice there either. I abandoned Pilar and our children. You know, I know that she's trying to forgive me, but you know, I don't think she ever could. Hey, don't underestimate Pilar's capacity for goodness and forgiveness. You keep asking me about my relationship with Ivy and how I got back with my first love after Grace left. Well, now that Catherine's gone, do you want to get back with Pilar? Do you want to go back with Pilar? Sam, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, I had such incredible happiness with Pilar. We had a good life, we had wonderful children, and we were so much in love. But, but no, see, that's it. There is no but. Pilar was perfect. You know, leaving her was the hardest thing that I ever had to do in my life. I was heartbroken. I thought that I'd never get over it. Then why'd you leave? I had to, Sam. Look, you said that before, but you never explained it. Was it because you fell in love with Catherine in spite of the wonderful marriage you had with Pilar? No, Catherine and I didn't fall in love for years. Our relationship began once I realized that I was never coming back to Harmony. I thought that I'd never see Pilar again. You know, what I'm going through now with Catherine leaving reminds me of the pain that I felt when I first left Pilar. Well, does Pilar know this? I mean, she's convinced that you left because you fell in love with Catherine. She doesn't believe me. I made her life hell when I left. But the fact is, that if I'd stayed, it would have been worse for Pilar. Much worse. Worse how? Sam, I'm telling you, if I had stayed in Harmony, Pilar, the most wonderful woman I've ever known, would have been destroyed. You know, I wish that I could tell Pilar that I still care. You know, love like that. It doesn't just disappear. I hated myself for leaving her and the kids, but it was the only way. But you admit you'd been in love with Catherine for many years. Yeah. But I never stopped thinking about Pilar. I never stopped loving her. You know, Catherine understood how I felt. She always knew that you know, Pilar was my first love. Wow, sounds like Catherine's an amazing woman. Well, she left so that I could reunite with my family. And she felt that Louise hated her and she didn't want to come between him and Sheridan. But all that she really cared about was making her daughter happy. She was a wonderful woman. But you say you never stopped loving Pilar. No, never. You know, when I see her, it's as if I never left. It's like the first time I ever saw her. You know, my heart jumped up in my throat. Pilar meant everything to me, Sam. I can see she still does. Mark, what was so horrible that you felt you had to leave everyone you loved? I can't tell anyone, Sam. I can't. But if Pilar knew why you left, you know she'd forgive you. Whatever it is, you know she'd understand. Look, she knows that you were trying to protect her and the kids. If you just tell her the truth, you get your family back. But the truth would only cause more harm. Remember the old saying, the truth will set you free. I remember another old saying, the cure is worse than the disease. I can't talk, Sam. It would only cause her more harm. She'd hate me. Martin, why don't you just tell me the truth? Let me decide if the cure will be worse than the disease. Martin, I think Pilar deserves an explanation. I can't, Sam. I won't cause you any more pain. Oh, Martin. How much more pain can I feel than the pain that I've lived with all these years? You... The love of my life, my husband, it disappeared without a word or a note or, or an explanation, nothing. 
You left me with a broken heart, Martin, and five children to raise on my own. And then you come back into my life with a, with a woman, a mistress. Oh God, what pain can compare to that? I, I, I can't explain it, Pilar. All I can say is the pain would be far greater. What could you have run away from that would bring her more pain than she's already suffered? Oh, you mean, oh, please, Martin. Please help me understand why you left me. Look at me. Please, give me some peace. Tell me why you left.